Hi everyone, so today I'm going to discuss with you about the value management concept in the construction. So first of all, we need to know that it is not the earned value management, it is the value management. So earned value management we use for the project management purpose, but this, so first of all, we need to know what is value. So value is the benefit which is derived from a kind of action and in for the ratio, uh, with the cost or effort that you require to achieve it. So benefit can be categorized as either the durability, aesthetical appearance, or uh, kind of anything, or the uh, kind of uh, outcome that you expect from that project or the particular objective. And cost or effort means what is the input that you have to put to get that particular benefit. And then uh, why we need to have uh, value management, so first of all, we need to achieve value for money, any of the project because investor or the employer invest money because uh, that person want to achieve what is the expected value out of that project. And it is focused on expected outcome or the objective of a project. So it might be uh, sometimes you want to, our employer or the developer, they want to have the tallest building, they want to have the rotate building in the town or that kind of thing. So we need to identify what is that. So it is easily can be identified through this value management and uh, gives clear picture on what end users and owner finally mean by value. So uh, what is the final outcome, final expectation of not only by the employer, but also by the end user as well. So it will be very well understood through this concept because that is the main key thing uh, we are going to analyze uh, when we are doing the value management. So value management and value engineering, it is mainly aimed to increase or maximize the project value given the time, cost and quality. So those three are the constraints in the triangle. So then uh, it is there for that. And then uh, uh, value management, it is not only in a single stage, you can apply value management in the planning stage by the progress of the project or at the completion. But at the same time, we should know the when we are trying to do a change, so impact of the change, is high if it is in the planning stage because then you don't want to do any other additional cost in physically uh, if you are going to do that change at the initial planning stage because still your plan or the design has not been came into a physical level. So then in that situation, cost change, cost impact uh, might be less at the planning stage where that uh, at the later stage if you are trying to do that kind of change through the value management or any other principle then the cost will be high so then it is advisable that uh, you can you have to apply value management at the very initial stage so uh, if we come to a history uh, it can it goes up to the uh, uh, in Second World War and uh, it was uh, produced through the industry, not in the construction, but in the in manufacturing industry in the United States. So Lawrence Demise, who understood as the kind of father of this uh, value management he, at the General Electric, that is the company in the late 1940. And the remarkable situation of this son is uh, establishment of Society of American Valley Engineers in 1959. So in around 1960, this concept has came to the uh, construction industry as well. Now it has been established as prominent concept. So through the value management, we are highly focused on uh, how we are going to earn that particular value of a particular objective. So it is not only regarding cost reduction, it is something else actually. Thank you.